guys, welcome back to Basan Kitchen. Today we are doing a really simple but a really cool recipe. We are making broiled scrot, blackened style with Cajun shrimp skewers and we're gonna top it over a spring mix salad with gorgonzola cheese with walnuts and cranberries. It is simple, it is awesome, and it is summer recipe that you guys are gonna love. And it is definitely Basan style. So let's get started. I'm gonna go over the ingredients really quick with you guys. We're gonna use the skewers for the shrimp. We have extra virgin olive oil, lemon juice, dried parsley, Cajun seasoning, which I'm gonna put it in the recipe I'm gonna put in the description. We have clarified butter to, for the fish. We have gorgeous 16 to 20 count shrimp. I have about a pound and a half over here. For fish, we are using scrot. It's a white flaky fish and it seasons really easy and it cooks really fast and it tastes awesome. For the ingredients for salad, I have cherry tomatoes. I cut them in halves. I took gorgonzola cheese, walnuts, and dried cranberries and I mix them together. It is so good. This is a perfect salad topper. We have cucumbers, I have red onions, I sliced them really thin, and I'm gonna use spring mix with spinach leaves and baby arugula. All right guys, all the ingredients are in. Now we're gonna season the fish in a really simple way, and then we're gonna bake it in the oven for about 15 minutes at about 425. I like my fish a little well done, so I'm gonna cook it for 20 minutes, but after 15 minutes, it's fair game. So let's get started. I like to give a lemon juice bath before I put butter and seasoning down. I'm gonna take clarified butter, just a little coating so the seasoning sticks to it. Put the Cajun rub in the sifter, so you just cover it up. Make sure you have a nice layer on top. The reason I use a sifter is because it spreads the seasoning so evenly. You don't have the clumps. Make sure you put a hefty amount so it blackens really cool. Okay. And now we're gonna top it off with a little dry parsley so when it bakes, dry parsley is gonna get stuck right on top with the Cajun rub. And it's gonna look really hot. Guys, the fish is ready. We put lemon, butter, seasoning, and dry parsley on it. Now it's gonna go in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 425 degrees. It's gonna come out perfect. I'll show you, it is gonna be basan style. We're gonna get started with the shrimp skewers. We're gonna put the shrimp down. First, we're gonna make the rub. Couldn't find my lemon juice. Same premise, about two tablespoons of lemon juice. We're gonna, well, instead of using butter, I'm gonna use about one tablespoon of olive oil. And about two tablespoons or about one and a half tablespoon of Cajun rub, depending on how spicy you like your stuff. I like it with a little zip. So put a little dry parsley for color. Just mix it all in. For the skewer, the way it works is you take it, put it from the bottom, and go straight up. This way, the shrimp stays it's in its place. I'm gonna put about five shrimp per skewer. And this is what you want. This is hot. This looks really cool. And look, it doesn't fall off, stayed in place, and you just plate it. This is it, guys. The skewers are ready and they look gorgeous. They're perfectly set perfect amount and they're seasoned awesomely. I preheated the pan. I'm gonna put about half a tablespoon of oil. Move it around. So now we're gonna cook our skewers on the pan 
But you have to see, we don't have to cook them a lot. We're just gonna flash cook them because they're gonna keep cooking after we take them off. So about, I would say no more than a minute per side. Okay. You see, you wanna hear that sizzle. That means the pan's ready to do its job. We're gonna put all four. Have a big skillet. start flipping them I recommend you guys use a spatula I have a really high tolerance for heat I don't want you guys to burn yourself wow. just start with the salad really quick I'm gonna add the cherry tomatoes I told you I cut them in halves and cucumbers I like lots of red onions, so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little drizzle of olive oil. Not a big fan of regular dressing, a little lemon juice. And just mix it in. So the salad is ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plate it on our board and then I'm gonna put the gorgonzola cheese on it so it looks really hot. But you can see, olive oil is in. We're not gonna add any salt pepper because all that flavor we're gonna get from the cheese because it is a little salty. And now let's start plating. Hey guys, the fish is done and you can see how gorgeous it's blackened on top. I love this part. Now fish is done, our shrimp skewers are done. Now we're gonna move on to my favorite part. We're gonna plate. And this time we're gonna plate it in a really cool way. We're gonna put the fish, the shrimp, and the pan seared potato that I made on the side on one oblong board. And then we're gonna put the salad on a completely different board. I just want you guys to imagine that it's plated. Your guests are coming from two sides. They take a little bit of salad, they take a shrimp skewer, and they take little fish, they put it on top, and they eat. It is cool, it's simple, but it is definitely Basan style. So I'm gonna place my cutting boards right next to each other. First, we're gonna do the salad. dried parsley on it to break up the white color. This is my favorite salad. It has so much color. You have the cherry tomatoes and the spring mix and the red onions and the pecans and the gorgonzola cheese. It's just gorgeous. I love making this salad. And with fish, it goes perfect. So I'm gonna put some pan-seared potatoes that we made. Get the fish blackened, so that means that we dehydrated it. So now that it's plated, everything is done, you take the leftover butter and just hydrate it a little bit, just on top, so it gets its color back. 
So it gives the blackened seasoning a little shine just like that. Now for my final touch, I'm gonna just put a little parsley to break everything down to separate the food. Favorite tarnish. And wow, 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 and wow. It looks hot. I would come and I would look at this and I would just take pictures. Not because I made it, because I did, but it looks so cool. So then guys, everything is done. The plating is on point. The fish is gorgeous. It smells amazing. The blackened seasoning is perfectly encrusted. Shrimp skewers on point. And now we move on to our gorgeous, beautiful color salad. Everything what spring and summer and Long Island is all about. It is the best salad I ever made and it goes perfectly with the fish. Guys, this is the best food I make. This is the food I love cooking. It's clean, it's simple, and it's so easy to duplicate. I want you to picture your guests coming in, it's plated, you have two buffet lines going where they come on each side, they pick up a skewer, they break a little bit of fish, they pick, take potatoes, get a little bit of salad, and it's a perfect, perfect harmony of every single thing. This is what I love. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I had a great time making it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And we will get you guys next time, Basan style. Take this bad boy for a spin. I love lemon, so. Lots of lemon. Wow. Look. Mm. Perfectly cooked. Hmm. Wow. I wish you guys could try it. Hmm. Okay. Can't have tasting without the shrimp. This is it. That's all style. I want you to see how flaky and gorgeous this fish is. Okay. It's blackened on the top and it's so tender and moist and perfectly cooked in the middle. Take the salad for a spin. Wow, it is so fresh. And with the fish. That's not soft.